Hey guys, Drewski here, and today I am super excited for Metro Exodus. I didn't even know this was going to be a thing. Like, when I saw this trailer, we were all freaking out, and I was just saying, I didn't know that Metro was going to come back. Like, I didn't even guess that Metro was going to come back. I thought it was just a series that would never be, you know, published again. But, lo and behold, we have a new Metro game coming. Now, if you guys didn't know, I'm a huge fan of Metro and any game that is like Metro, which is a survival horror, got lots of cool customization in terms of guns and such. And also, it's like post-apocalyptic Soviet Russia, you know, that's that's always pretty fun for me. Um, that's why I like the Stalker series so much as well. And playing Metro, I, I just feel like it was a, was a single-player game that I really, really enjoyed, which is pretty rare. And especially when it was a linear, I guess there was two endings on one of the games, but there was a linear campaign throughout the entire Metro 2033 and Metro Last Light. And whenever the Redux versions of those games got created, um, it made the graphics like amazing like the graphics of the redux versions still stress the 10 series and video graphics cards even today um this game was just pretty dang good and honestly if if i can suggest any good single player game that is a horror survival based game i would suggest this one because this one just was it keeps you on your toes at all times and it's super fun to play i might i might stream it i haven't played in a long time i kind of wanting to now uh just because of this trailer but the interesting thing about this trailer is, uh, is, is a lot of things. First off, there's a lot of design that goes into, let's say, just the, the art of the weapons. Like, look at the weapons he's holding. He holds a, a, a shotgun in the first part of the trailer, and then in the latter part, he's holding a crossbow. But, I mean, even just look at his arm. There's actually, like, a little PCB, like a, like a motherboard on his little uh, wrist area that is near his watch, which I thought was just a cool... Uh, design just having that much detail in something like just what could have been just a, a jacket on his hand uh, and a small little watch having a little timer on it but it it also you know is very very similar to Metro so when I first saw this and I saw that little watch on his hand I just first said either this is a super copy of Metro or this is a Metro game and then lo and behold it was a Metro game I think the biggest takeaway from this trailer is that the outside area is clear of radiation uh he takes off his gas mask when he walks out of the metro tunnels which is a let's just a contrast to the older games where the metro tunnels were the one place where humans uh hid because it had no radiation while i mean some areas did have extreme radiation in those metro tunnels but not really like the main the main areas and the main majority of it but the outside world always had radiation so if you were ever outside you'd be wearing a gas mask no matter what um, and over time, if you took your gas mask off, you would go crazy and die of radiation. Uh, so it's kind of a contrast. It's kind of interesting. And I think the reason is, is that they've totally changed up how the game is going to be played. Note the map that opens whenever he walks outside. That map shows a very open area. So I'm wondering to myself, all right, it's probably going to be an open world title now, which I think that Metro has needed for actually a, a long while. As long as it can keep the story, keep the density of the open world good, uh, then it will be a successful game. But it's going to be crazy because an open world Metro game, that's going to be a lot like a stalker title now. And now you only wear your gas mask when you're in metros, which is, I would guess, where most of the missions are going to probably be. You're probably going to have to go into metros and, and, and mining tunnels and things like that to be able to do certain missions. But a lot of the missions might be above ground now, so you won't have to wear a gas mask um, unless you're going underground. Just a cool mechanic that I think they might have changed because it is probably going to be an open world. I mean, the first thing he opens when he walks outside is a map that is much, much more detailed than the older little map pamphlet that he used to have, which just showed you, like, your objectives and such. Um, but, yeah, this one's a lot more detailed. And I think that th this trailer was, indeed, not really true gameplay. Like, it was more, like, uh, cinematic gameplay, like, in-engine, but also not actual animations that you're going to see in-game because he would, like, slowly open a door and turn around and knife a thing. It might be, like, a quick-time action event in the actual game, but in this it w didn't really show any you know, buttons popping up or anything. I would roughly call this a gameplay trailer. It's not like true gameplay, but it is in-engine, and it is probably exactly what the game will look like when it comes out, um, because Metro has always looked this good, to be honest. Just go play the older games. It looks amazing. But yeah, I know there's a lot of games to talk about at E3, and I'm currently editing a podcast of me, Jamie, uh, Via, and Matthew, and Jay, uh, all talking about a lot of the games, including Metro, 
uh, that came out during the E3 and all the trailers that have come out. So we're going to have a big podcast about that, possibly coming out soon, um, and that will go over a lot of the rest of the games. But I just kind of wanted to make a video specifically about Metro because this is one of my favorite genres of, of games is survival horror. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I will see you in the next one.